Hey there everyone, welcome back to Playground Sessions. I'm Phil and today I'm going to be showing you a tune by One Republic called Counting Stars. We're going to be looking at the Playground Sessions intermediate level arrangement of the chorus and that sounds like this. Before I break this down for you, a question. Who can name five constellations off the top of their head? Leave them in the comments below. And don't cheat. I know you're already online. You could Google it. But see what you can do without the internet. Use your brain, folks. Leave the comments below. All right, let's break down this right hand. First, our key signature. We have one flat, and that's a B flat. That tells us that we're in the key of F major. Now, it also could be D minor. Remember, every major key has a relative minor that share the same key signature. But here, our key signature is one flat. Our time signature is four, four, which means four beats per measure. Now, we're only looking at the first eight measures here of this chorus. The chorus in the song is 16 measures, but they're almost identical. So once you have this down, it kind of repeats for the second half. So we're looking at eight measures, and let's talk about the hand position for these eight measures. We're gonna be in an F major position with our two finger on G to start. Three on A, five on C, and of course one is on F. Now the first two measures we stay in that position. Measure three and four, we shift down. Third finger on G, so our fifth finger can play B flat, don't forget the key signature. And our thumb can reach down to D. Now, second line down, we start with the same idea from the first line, so we go back to our F major position, two on G again. Now here, just like the second half of the first line, when we get to the second half of the second line, we shift down again, third finger on G. And thumb down to D again as well. So that's our position, we got F major position, and then we shift down, thumb to D, fifth finger on B flat. All right, let's set our metronome to our medium tempo of 80 beats per minute, and let's walk through this together. One, two, set, go. Start with G, then A, C, G. Now eighth notes in stepwise motion. Now shift down, three on G, B flat, A, D, F. Now shift back up, G again. Eighth notes, now shift back down. And that's all there is to it. So rewind and play it back with me at that medium tempo as many times as you need so you can feel comfortable and before we move on to that full tempo, which is 120 beats per minute. And that's what we'll do right now. One, two, set, go. Excellent work. Now let's talk left hand. We've only got four chords in this left hand part, and that four chord progression repeats two times. But it looks a little more difficult than chords, doesn't it? Well, that's because we're playing each one of these chords one note at a time. We're playing sort of an arpeggio pattern through each chord instead of playing them as block chords all at once. But that rhythmic pattern also repeats throughout this section, so it's not as tough as it looks. Our first chord is D minor, but we're gonna outline it in an octave position, which means D, and then it's fifth, which is A, and then the high D, an octave above. Five, two, one fingers. And we're gonna play eighth note, eighth note, quarter note, and then we're gonna repeat that for the second half of that measure. Now, we're gonna do the same pattern for each chord to come. So F major, we're gonna drop down. F major is our second chord. And we'll play F, C, F. Measure three we're gonna play a C chord outline, so C, G, C. Now, we're gonna drop down and slide our hand back towards the back of the keys for this fourth chord, which is B flat, because our fifth finger and our first finger need to be able to reach these black notes. That's why we slide back. All right, and that's it. So the second line down is just a repeat of that same idea. D minor, F major, and I'm holding each one of these down as I play so you can see this chord shape. But of course, when we play this in our performance, we're gonna do them just one note at a time like this.
But if you use your sustain pedal, if you've got one, that'll really help connect all these notes and make them sound smooth, like this. All right, I think we should just jump into the full tempo for this, guys. 120 beats per minute, and try this left hand along with our backing track. One, two, set, go. Down to F, up to C, and now B flat. Look down, it repeats. I'm using my pedal, you should do the same if you're comfortable. That's all there is to it, guys. So now let's talk about putting these hands together. There's not really a single easy tip or trick that I can give you here that's gonna make this section come together. The only thing I can tell you to do is to practice this very slowly with the hands together. I'm not gonna walk through at a super, super slow tempo with you. I want you to do that on your own now that you have the right hand part down on its own and the left hand on its own. And that may take 10, 20, 30 times before you're ready to do this at the medium tempo. But I encourage you to do that. So hit pause here on the video and try that and then pick back up here with me when you're ready. All right, let's go ahead and do this at medium tempo, 80 beats per minute. One, two, set, go. So we're almost there, guys. All we need to do is put this together at full tempo, which is 120 beats per minute. But first, let me tell you where to go next. Once you finish with this section, there's a ton more to this song. There's verses, there's a bridge, there's another chorus that you put them all together at the end for the whole song. All that stuff still left to do. So if you want to do that, you want to learn the rest, tap the card above to head to PlaygroundSessions.com and get the app. The app is so cool. We have this song, as I mentioned, all the parts but we also have it in the advanced level arrangement and a rookie level arrangement depending on what difficulty level you need at the moment and we also have a ton more songs as well across all genres we got courses and boot camp lessons there's a ton of stuff in there guys so check out the app i know you'll love it all right let's wrap up this video one republic counting stars intermediate chorus both hands full tempo let's do this All right, way to go. Give yourselves a round of applause. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.